So what we're going to do here is we are going to examine this reaction diagram and then we've got some questions of you. So for the first question it says give the reaction condition for reaction A. So when it comes to reaction conditions, I know guys it's not the best, but there are mainly 12 reactions that we need to know in grade 12 and you just need to memorize these reaction conditions. So the way that you do it is the following. They said it's for reaction A. So what you do is you look at the starting material and what is it? It's an alkene. What is the final product? It is an alcohol. Okay, so you then need to have some notes that you've already made, I hope, where you have reaction conditions when you go from an alkene to an alcohol. Okay, there's only 12 different types. So when you go from an alkene to an alcohol, um, you need to make sure that there is excess water. So you need a lot of water. You are going to use a strong catalyst, strong catalyst, and that is usually H2SO4, which is um, sulfuric acid. And then we don't need to use strong heat or anything like that. Strong heat or like heating it up really strongly is usually something we do when there's an elimination reaction. But this is an addition reaction, okay? So those are the only two reaction conditions that we would say for, for that first question, okay? So for that one over there. Moving on to the second question now. So we need to give the reaction conditions for B. So for B, you're going from an alkene to a halo alkane. So in your notes you need to have a reaction condition for alkene going to a halo alkane. And what you should have there is that there should be no water present. So you're just going to add, you're going to add the dry HCl or, yeah, so you can say add the dry HCl. Some teachers, um, instead of using the word dry, they might use the word anhydrous. It means no water. Um, add the dry HCl to the alkene 